Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we're going to talk about something that we haven't uh, we mentioned a long time ago, many months ago, and that now has its first real-world application in a game, uh, which is called Forspoken, and it's the uh, direct storage feature. Uh, we talked about it many months ago. It's something new that's coming, or that's already there actually, in uh, the capabilities of Windows 11. And first of all, I want to say, it does seem that Microsoft will keep direct storage only for Windows 11. So uh, if you're on Windows 10, um, from what we hear is that direct storage feature will never be available on Windows 10. So direct storage is a interesting uh, new way of dealing with uh, graphics intensive uh, games and applications. What it does, first of all, is that you need to have a solid state drive for this to be a feature that you can use. And the latest game um, shows that direct storage is actually quite powerful, improves the frame rates quite a lot, and seems that it could improve performance um, of graphics intensive applications. In this case, a game. So what direct storage does is use the fast speed of access of the solid state drives where it stores the compressed data for graphics. That is sent directly to the graphics adapter video memory or VRAM. And what happens is that usually what happened before is that you would have some form of um, you know decompression and some form of um, the the data sent to the graphics card were was already in some way decompressed by the CPU of the computer in some way. Uh, often the games were also very big because they needed to decompress part of the code, and so they were huge. So direct storage promises that some of the games might be smaller because you can keep compressed data. That compressed data is rapidly sent from the SSD to the VRAM of the GPU, and the graphics processor actually does all the work for decompressing and giving you the output. So all of this makes everything way faster. Now it seems that um, in the latest tests for really good performance, you need the latest, greatest uh, SSDs. So even though um, you know SSDs with NVMe 3.0, for example, the uh, would work. Uh, if you have a 4 or 5.0, it's if even faster, even better. So it looks like uh, that could be uh, something to look forward. Maybe, you know, gamers will have the latest hardware. Gamers are uh, notorious for buying some really high-end machines and, and hardware for amazing performance. Uh, this could... Of course, be used not just for games. Uh, it has possibility of applications for you know video intensive uh, encoding, decoding, compression, um, anything that is heavy usage of you know raw images and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see the future. They say that um, as more applications might use direct storage, one of the things they are um, thinking about is that solid state drive sales could actually explode and that means SSDs might actually get higher priced. So uh, this is something to look for. We'll see what applications, will it be kept only to games? Will other apps actually use this uh, feature? One thing for sure is that the latest demonstrations now seem to show that there's huge improvements in speed, frame rates. So uh, we'll see what comes next for uh, the direct storage feature that uh, apparently will be only Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.